Well, good morning on a uh, what's been a rainy Tuesday morning. You know that solid rain band is past us and now we're moving forward, getting into more of just heavy scattered showers. I want to take you up to the high country real quick because uh, haven't had issues over the Cascades for travel the last couple of days, but that's back. Look at Governor Camp, 32 degrees, already a couple inches of snow, more to come up there. Snow levels down to about uh, oh, 3,000 feet today. Well, here's what we're looking at. Big low spinning offshore, pushing those rain bands inland, especially the North Oregon coast up into uh, Washington. And we've actually had uh, look at this and we still have some lightning. Now we're taping this at 808 in the morning on Tuesday. See those lightning strikes offshore. So clearly folks along the north coast, Tillamook, Clatsop counties could hear a rumble of thunder. Otherwise, we think scattered showers pick up a number today are heavy at times coming through Portland, Vancouver, Salem, up into Cowlitz County and could be a little bit of hail with that as we explode into some pretty good downpours that you'll find yourself dodging at times today. So keep an eye on the sky. We'll be in the mid to upper 40s generally. And by the way, look at the sunset time. Today is the day that the sun goes down after 5 o'clock, 501. When you back up into December, I think the earliest sunset time was 427, if my memory's right. I might not be right on that. But anyway, we're after 5 o'clock today. Seven day shows mostly mild and wet. Notice the 50 degree temperatures Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And with that, notice the overnight lows in the mid 40s or maybe warmer. That will be a snow level bouncing up to at least 6,000 feet at times. Um, right now, I don't see any flooding concerns. This looks like manageable amounts of rain spread out over a number of days. I will tell you our January so far is just holding, um, well, with today's rain, we'll probably hold about half of an inch to six tenths of an inch of rain above the month to date for Portland. And Chris McGinnis joins us. Good morning. So good morning. You know, Matt had an awesome graphic of just how awesome that 10 day two week stretch was up in the Cascades. So I want to go back to a that because snow, we had a yeah. real. Yeah, this is this. These are these 10 day stretches are not stretches that, that we see every no. winter. So yeah. just check this out from the new year to mid January. Timberline went from a meager 30 31 inches to about 120 inch base on January 15th. Now that's come down a little bit probably because of some compaction. But here's the important thing. Uh, you know, they they're, they're now up to about 230 inches of annual snowfall at Timberline right now on January 21st. Their base right now is about 110, 111. Right. And we'll get some more today. Yeah. Um, I mean, we would hope to get up to a total snowfall of five to 600 inches for for by the end of April. Yeah. And of course, you know, late March and April is, is is big base building time too, right? But uh, between now and and uh, you know the next couple of days, we're looking pretty good. But that's looking like it's going to change given what your your 70 forecast well, numbers show. Yeah, it's, we we're talking about highs in the 50s, which pushes that snow level up. And I wanted to show you we'll get back to that snowfall graphic real quick. We're looking at, you know, maybe another six, eight inches up there at ski resort level and higher um, between now and the end of the week. But really, I think most of that's going to fall today. Yeah. And then beyond that, the snow levels really start inching up. Let's get ahead to the, the, the temperature outlook here over the next six to 10 days. This is just released actually yesterday from the Climate Prediction Center. And suddenly we go from uh, what was a, a week's cold. cold start to January <laughs> to a very, or excuse me, a very warm start to January to a very cold mid January. And now it looks like we're going to be in store for a Warming warm up. finish. That uh, little orange bullseye there uh, out towards Spokane and Baker City is, a, is the 50% probability. We're 40% or better here in Portland. So should we be jumping into our cars and going to Baker City if we're sun lovers? If uh, well, that's not to say that there's going to be <laughs> snow or uh, sun out there, but it's certainly going to be warmer. And we stretch that out a few more like the, the following week. So this takes us through the last week of uh, January into the first couple of days of February. Oh, and that, that warm air takes up even more real yeah. estate. So the prospects for uh, snow in the Cascades are, are probably for the second half of January, first week of February, kind of looking not a little greatest. bit, not not the greatest. We are looking good for rainfall, though. This is this week. Uh, this is the Euro model actually going out over the next seven days. It gives the valley a solid uh, inch to inch and a quarter. I would think, I mean, between it, Portland and Salem yeah, has a, a kind of an average between now and Sunday, and some places will probably do better I than mean, that. I would think, you know, the 24 hour period today is, should it be at least a quarter and more. We could go. 24 hour period 
Good four tenths tomorrow, potentially, and then similar numbers on Thursday into Thursday night. And so, those big bullseyes yeah. you see in the higher terrain of the coast yeah. range and the Cascades, which, of course, as we mentioned, the Cascade snow levels yeah. are going to be climbing up yeah. just a little bit. Uh, precipitation outlook, obviously, up quite a bit. Yeah. We're on the, which is uh, good. We're still trying to – what's our deficit? Still over six inches we're still pretty, for the water we're, year? We're still missing a little bit in the rain bucket between yeah. uh, between October 1st and, and now. So we definitely yeah. need this, and it looks yeah. like we're, we're going to be in that kind of that bullseye, that sweet spot for the next – two weeks of reasonable rainfall across western Oregon. Um, but of course, the snow levels are going to be inching yeah. up a little bit. So. so good news, bad news there. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. But anyway, that's the that's the the outlook uh, after all the 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 interest in snow the yeah. last 10 days or so. And there is there is no interest in lowland yeah. snow, nor is there anything that shows <laughs> anything that's no. of interest to us for lowland snow between now and basically the third, yeah. fourth, fifth of February and so we'll and see. February comes, the final full month of winter, and we'll see what it brings. Yeah. Increasing day, increasing day length. We yeah. know that. We are certain about that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Have a good day. Thanks for joining us on our Weather Extra show. We'll talk to you tomorrow.